Hi, my name is Megan, and I'm going to be doing my presentation today on Juno Diaz. Diaz, Dina, Diaz was born in the Dominican Republic, and at the age of six, he moved to New Jersey. Uh, when he first moved to New Jersey or the United States, he expresses some sort of culture shock, and he says that when he first moved here and he went to school, it says in the book, I showed up at a school not knowing a word of English and dressed like something out of a wetback comedy. We stood out so much in this community, it was remarkable. So a wetback is a, I guess, racial, racial, racial term for Mexicans, and it's not very, it's not a good terminology, I guess you can say. Um, anyways, after he graduated from high school, he went to college at Rutgers University and for his bachelor's degree. And then after he graduated there, he went to Cornell University and got his master's in fine arts. He graduated that school uh, in 1995, and then he published his first book, which was Drown, in 1996. He now teaches at MIT as a writing professor. Uh, the Drowns is a collection of short stories. There's 10 short stories in this book and they each story kind of expresses some sort of theme of abandonment, homosexuality, immigrant poverty, and his migration from the Dominican Republic to the United States. Um, he also, fun fact, he also is on the board of advisors for the Freedom University, which is a volunteer organization that provides post-secondary schooling, so like any schooling after high school. So like a college or a, for a college for like undergraduates or postgraduates or anything of that nature. And that is schooling for undocumented immigrants and specific Latino immigrants because of where he came from. He just wants to help out. Another fun fact about Diaz is that writing was not actually his first career path. When he went to college, he had absolutely no idea what he wanted to do or where he was going. And he was kind of just going to school. He then told the American magazine that he really liked reading, he liked books, he liked history, but what are you going to do with that? So then he just kept reading through all these authors and eventually found out that what he wanted to do was poetry or writing. In the paragraph that I'll be reading from Drown, it has to deal with sexuality and in specific homosexuality. So rewind a little bit in the story. Juno and his best friend Beto, they ended up going to Beto's house and they were watching a show on TV and Beto slips his hand in Juno's pants and Juno's like confused like what the heck are you doing to me and ends up feeling very uncomfortable and then ends up leaving. So this little paragraph is from what happens afterwards. Um, so I'll start with, my mother sensed that something was something was wrong and pestered me about it, but I told her to leave me the fuck alone. And my pops, who was home from a visit, stirred himself from the couch to slap me down. Mostly, I stayed in the basement, terrified that I would end up abnormal, a fucking pato. But he was my best friend, and back then that mattered more than anything. So, from that little excerpt from the story, you can tell that from Ju where Juno is from and his religious terms and what he grew up around, what is right and what is wrong, being gay, oh, pato means you're homo, like homosexual. Uh, so where he is from and what he grew up being gay or homosexual is not right and it's it's like frowned upon people would get ban ban people would get punished and 
can't say that word. Anyways, they would get they would get punished for being homosexual. So when Beto ends up doing what he did to him, he kind of like flips out and like, oh, what the heck? Like, I don't want it. I don't want to hang out with him and end up being like him. So when he said, mostly I stayed in the basement, terrified that I would end up abnormal. He doesn't want to become what Beto is, a homosexual. But then as he does thinking, he realizes that, you know what? I should not judge somebody by their sexuality. So if he is his best friend, he will truly put that aside and be his best friend for himself. Another thing from the discussion that we had to do, it talks about the advantages and the disadvantages. So from where Juno is from, which is the, Dom the Dominican Republic, he, it was all, you know, homosexuality, like, if you had show, if you were known to be gay, then you would be banished, or you would be harmed, and when he moves over here, he notices that Beto is kind of just, like, free, free for all kind of thing, like, I get to, like, who I want to like, and everything, so, that right there is the culture shock, like I explained previously when he first came over here. 